Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will show you how you can use the Power BI button for enabling drill through selection. So let me go to the Power BI and show you what exactly I mean. So drill through is one of the options which I have explained in my previous video. It's nothing but we have, let's say, one visualization in one page and then we have another visualization here in this page. So if we want this visualization to be filtered via this visualization, then we can enable the drill through using the options over here. Like over here, you have the drill through. Once it is enabled, this, this type of option usually comes. So if you want to see, you can search the drill through video through the sheet, which I have just shown that is part of the description and you can get that. So the way you do that is by right clicking, go to drill through and then page four. Now this right clicking is sometimes many of your users may not be aware of. And the best better way would be to use something visible over here, like a button, which can actually help you that uh, show detailed uh, report or go to the page four or any other uh, basically title that you want to put just that it is visible to the user that some sort of functionality is present so by clicking on this button i can actually show view the detailed report based on the selection i'm making here okay so how <clears throat> so how we can do that i will going to show and uh, like i said before this sheet is present in the description so that you can search uh any of my previous videos based on your need and jump to that video using the link which is present here in the column b also you can keep this sheet as a bookmark so that whenever uh, you need to search for any particular tutorial or you know resume the learning or uh, you know keep it as part of your uh, you know bi problem solution library then you can keep it as a bookmark which i recommend it all right so let me show you how you can do that so first thing first we need to go into the insert and there you will find the button and in the button we will going to click on blank and here is a button blank button that has been created so let me put it here all right so i will just going to expand this a little bit you can create as big as you want and here we will going to enable the text and come on enable get enable and then you put the text which is uh go to page four or like i want this to come here go to page four based on sub category selection so something you know which is making sense uh that you can that you should basically put it here as a text i'm just making it stuff here uh, so that you can see that i can basically helping user to understand what's going on they need to make a selection on the subcategory first from here and then they will go to the page four so if i make a selection here on bookcase but nothing will happen right why because i have not yet configured the action so let me uncheck that and select this and collapse this go to the action enable the action go to the action and there the action type is right now back we will go to the drill through so once the drill through is present you need to specify the destination the destination will be the page four all right so once it is all done then if you see it is right now disabled and the pop-up text that is coming after configuring the action that to drill through to page four select a single data point from subcategory so even if you don't put the text over here which is explicit implicitly your text will be coming or the pre-made tooltip will be coming for the button so i click on copier and now i uh, hold down my control and then click so now the copier's information is coming. Similarly, if anything else you want, like uh, for example, art, select that and control click, and you have the values for the art, which is showing you the declining trend. 
So that's something which I found it very useful. Some explicit buttons that let's say you have multiple drill through pages. For example, let's say you have well, you know one for looking at the sales uh, where you are drilling through the sales, drilling through let's say the shipping or drilling through let's say the orders. So you can create like multiple buttons and based on the type of activity your user is required, they can move to a different report or a dashboard. So that's mainly I wanted to talk to you about the drill through option using the button, which is much more convenient than right clicking and then going to the drill through. So that's about it. And I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.